Hey guys. Yeah, so um, just a, another comment that you see a lot. One of those comments that's quietened down a lot is the um, No Man Knows comment. I haven't heard that for a bit, which is pretty cool. Um, but one that still persists is this one here. Uh, not good to lean on your own understanding. Alright, so um, <clears throat> these people that come up, and that's their favourite one, is don't lean on your own understanding. So when you have a look, you've got to find it in Proverbs 3. Um, familiar passage. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Uh, verse 5 is a complementary pair of commands. We are told positively to trust in the Lord and negatively not to trust in our own understanding. Those two things are mutually exclusive. In other words, we trust in the Lord and cannot depend on, on our own ability to understand everything God is doing. Alright, so, yeah, fair enough. Proverbs is... <coughs> is um, good advice and that sort of stuff so which also by the way is near the start of the bible it's here all right so all these books are teachings right and if you're not gaining understanding after each book right if you're not learning after each book you get to these next ones gain understanding gain understanding gain understanding and none of this understanding is yours it's coming from God all right so you're leaning on God all right so understanding 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 and we're moving on we're up we're moving up here we go so we're getting more and more and more understanding all right so now once we've got to here we are no longer leaning on our own understanding we are now leaning on the understanding of the Bible Proverbs didn't have the Bible back then, right? Now we do. We have 66 books. This is our books. And uh, <clears throat> this is God's understanding. So when we're doing videos and we're looking into stuff and we're studying the Bible and uh, we're leaning on the understanding that we're gleaning from the Bible, all right, we are no longer leaning on our own understanding, are we? So... If you're saying this, this means stop thinking, don't try and learn anything, just stay still and don't read the Bible. <clears throat> so this is very bad. <laughs> this is a most terrible um, approach to, to Bible. You should have a, a passion for the Bible. Um, Jesus, when you do that prayer, um, give us our daily bread. Right, you're asking for Jesus to feed you his words every day. You should be reading the words of the Bible, his bread, right, and living on every word. And this is what you should be doing. It's not good to lean on your understanding. That's right, that's correct. Don't have your own understanding anymore. Have God's understanding. Get rid of yours and replace it with the Bible. All right, so you were, what have we got here? First Timothy. And that from a child has known the holy scriptures right so most of the jews knew the the scriptures from a baby which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in jesus christ all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction right so you can correct your your own thinking for instruction in righteousness that the man of god may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. It's not good to lean on your own understanding. <laughs> all right, you see where you're still at? You're, you're not even hitting milk yet. If you're still saying this, you, you're not even on milk, let alone meat. You, you're still even before milk. Um, yeah, so, as you see, yeah, Proverbs is all the way back there. Anyway, yeah, so if you see there's a lot there that are just saying you just don't lean on your own understanding, show them that. Alright, God bless. <laughs>